Yes, it's that favorite time of the day once again. Welcome to Satoshi's Bitcoin Chart Show. This is the Bitcoin forecast, the strength of the system, the health of the network, where we find out what's up with what is going down. Today's date is Monday, the 25th of July, 2022. Without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Buy BSV.live, the best place to buy Bitcoin SV online, the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin. Right, I'm away on holiday. But uh, whatever, the show must go on. So just bear with me. We're going to see how this goes. So it looks like we've got CoolCoin BTC at $22,085. That's going to really hurt because it's got an economic fundamental value of precisely zero. We've got Bcrash, 127. Who cares? And we've got Fish Price Cash. What a joke. But then we've got Bitcoin. The original protocol goes right back to the Genesis block. It hasn't changed, making it the real Bitcoin, the true Bitcoin, the genuine Bitcoin. And the world's first and only ever digital commodity, backed by the value of data sovereignty, making it the most valuable commodity on earth, because it's an extension of our own personal freedoms and liberties. And you can only have a digital commodity with a fixed supply, a locked protocol, infinite scale, economic competition in the form of proof of work, and a chain of digital signatures for common accountability. Oh yes. Right, so let's have a look at this. So hash rate 0.33. Let's have a little looky here. Uh, yep, yeah, all right, still looking good there, liking that. We got uh, network nodes, 0.48 transactions, 83.9, I think we're transaction banking, but it's still 83.89% of the transactions on the entire Bitcoin network, so that's absolutely massive. And then we've got block size, look at this, 99.03, almost all of it. That only leaves 0.0, I only leaves 0.03. 0.07. Good grief. Uh, transactions available for these other utterly uh, disgraceful shit coins. But remember, uh, the block size is the amount of data flowing onto the network. The data is uploaded by the transactions. The transactions are processed by the nodes. The nodes are what create blocks and supply the hash rate. And the hash rate is attracted to the value, which is meant to be representative of the price. But the price is speculative because people don't have a clue what Bitcoin is. But when education catches up with speculation, the speculative prices will soon start to match their fundamental values, which means BTC, zero, Bcrash, zero, Fisher Price Cash, also zero, BSV, do your own research, you can figure it out. So let's have a look at the blocks coming through here. Oh, I can't quite see the data coming through. Never mind, never mind, we'll do that when we get back. This is hash rate, so hash rate follows price, follows value, follows utility, follows creativity, initiative and intelligence. If you are intelligent and you apply creativity and initiative, you can make something useful. When something is useful, it can then create value. When it creates value, it can then develop a price. When it develops a price, it can then be measured against the cost of other goods and services and used as a medium of exchange. Remember, if something is useless, it is worthless. It's that simple. Proof of work by network. Again, it's all coming over to Bitcoin, which is BSV because it's the only genuine digital commodity. Let's have a look at this. So it is currently 4,910 times cheaper to transact on Bitcoin than CoolCoin. Look at that. It's 0.6% more profitable to mine on CoolCoin than Bcrash. Love that. Cracks me up every time. It's 1.5% more profitable to mine on SV though. Daily average Bitcoin block size by network. Bitcoin smashing it. Transactions by network. Bitcoin winning. Looks like they've just dropped off a little bit. Transactions per block. Bitcoin winning. Still smashing it. Fees USD look right down there. That is the efficient network. Fee Satoshi's absolutely smashing it right down there. Uh, fee to block reward ratio. So again, the red line there will be representative of this solid blue line here. As the block reward gets cut in half every 210,000 blocks, the block reward will eventually be surpassed by the block fee. The block's fee is generated by the number of transactions on the network. When that happens, we then have an economically self-sustaining system. Absolutely beautiful. Let's carry on then, scroll our way down. So uh, daily accumulated Bitcoin blockchain growth by network. Let's have a quick look, see where we are. Last time I looked at this, we were 4.78, I think. I wonder if we're at 4.8. Look at that. Look at that. Where are we now? 4.8. You beauty. 4.8 terabytes. Absolutely mahoosive. Mahoosive. Uh, let's have a look down here then. So global hash rate seven days, global hash rate 24 hours. Core coin hash rate, oh look at it. So uh, foundry pool and ant pool having a belter, but BTC's got no value. So uh, all that energy utterly wasted. 
Um, B crash, look at this, absolutely hilarious. Other mining pools now is 65.28. So remember, it's all it's always more profitable to mine on BTC. <clears throat> so the miners will be leaving the chain. Profitability will just simply diminish and diminish until it's not worth mining at all, and then it will disappear because it has no value. Fisher price cash again being uh, kept in check by Hathor, and this is Bitcoin looking beautiful there, very evenly spread. Dare I say, um, uh, you know, uh, orchestrated. <clears throat> so we've got uh, SBI Crypto 34, Tau 25. Remember, Tau have got 100% of their hash rate on the network. SV pool looking very strong and other miners 27.08. Uh, the reason we're keeping profitability at bay is because we don't want any shitcoin enterprises on the network because the only thing shitcoin enterprises do is dollar worship, which leads on to price manipulation, which we'll look at now in the short positions. Let's have a look at this. Right, where are we now? There we go, let's bring this on the screen. So we've got Bitcoin, the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin with a short ratio of 89.58. That's going down little by little. I think, wow, let's just move it. Yeah, yeah, 89.58. Ooh, all right. A few traders may be waking up. And this is it. So this is CoreCoin BTC SegWit protocol came into existence on the 24th of August, 2017. And yet traders are giving it a huge long, even though it's a even though it's a new coin. Look, 1.83% long ratio or short ratio. But uh, again, I mean, you're just following the ticker symbol. It's so obvious what's going on. It doesn't work. It does nothing. <laughs> but you know, stupid is as stupid does. Dirty traders going to get shat on, unfortunately. Bit info charts. Where are we? Now? Oh, it looks like transactions have just dropped off a cliff. Never mind. So we've just got 31.5% uh, on Bitcoin, still 28.1% on XRP and just 27.7% on Ethereum. So we're still winning, even though this was uh, approaching 48 the other day. But uh, it will swallow the entire market very soon. For any newbies watching the show, these are the mining uh, operations. These are the network nodes. These are the operations that supply the hash rate. This is the backbone to the new global financial system, the world's first ever commercial internet. Blows my mind every time. Absolutely sensational stuff. Let's have a look at Chainlytics. Have they listed Bitcoin again? No, they've only got these dirty shit coins. Absolutely outrageous. Corruption showing there, but we can see the efficiency of Bitcoin here on Coin Carbon Cap. Look at this. <clears throat> Bitcoin with 4,140 transactions per megawatt hour in comparison to Bcrash, which is 35. And core coin BTC segment protocol with just 1.4 transactions per megawatt hour. Absolutely ridiculous. Scaling test network. Let's have a look at this then. Where are we? So it looks like we have had a uh, four gigabyte block mined on the mainnet in the last 24 hours. Very good. That'll do. Here we go. So uh, BSV data. Let's have a look at this. Uh, so this is uh, protocol rankings, daily data size. So Meta ID producing 5.1 gigabytes of data on a 30-day moving average. Let's have a look at this over seven days. I'm going to see this. All right, I want to find uh, applications rather than protocols. Let's have a quick look. Uh, applications, here we go. All right, let's see what we can see here. What's going on? What have we got for us this morning? We'll do this over seven days. It's more exciting. There we go. Okay, so it looks like transactions have just gone down on crypto fights, but still 796,000 transactions. Imagine when that goes over a million transactions over a 24-hour period. Relaysia 156,000. My two cents 100. Um, I'm sorry. Relaysia 156,000. My two cents 153,000. Very good, very good. Uh, I haven't got cursor to move this along while it's on the screen, so we'll just have to uh, leave that one there till I get back. Trends.cash, let's have a little look. What can we see here? Abstracting by performed actions, we've got run and crypto fights yet. My two cents in third. Look at this. Abstracting by money spent. DXS and TDXP, one and the same, followed by a Relay, Relay X. Very good. Crypto Quant, yep, exchanges cashing out. What's on chain? Good question. What is on chain? So we've got 4.3 pet ashes. We've got 24,273 transactions currently uh, awaiting processing in the memory pool. 
and we have had 1,223,000 transactions over the last 24 hours. Very good. Morning run. Let's have a look at this. So we are. Oh, look at this. this is over 2 million purchases yesterday. Uh, never mind. So that's gone down to 1,265,037 purchases of Bitcoin over the last 24 hours. Let's have a look at this a live coin watch market cap of $1.028 trillion. Uh, can we have a look at coins here? Coins, there we go. So we've got cool coin BTC. Let's have a look at this. Uh, trade volume 3.5. And look at this. We've got three stable coins in the top six of the coins on ranking by market cap. What a joke. Let's see if we can find Bitcoin. It should be there. We go number 48. Oh, currently at $56. Absolutely sensational stuff. Trade volume just 1.7%. Uh, look at this. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, look at that. Nice little dip in the price there. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Cool. Look at that. $56. Sensational stuff. There we go. So we've currently got 2.7 million bids versus 1.9 million asks. Price is on its way up again. These are the uh, majority of exchanges uh, that are holding uh, BSV, that support BSV uh, in comparison to size of each other. Very good, very good. Let's have a look at this coin gecko. How are we doing? How are we feeling about it today? Let's have a look at this. Feeling good? 94%. We will take that any day of the week. Great stuff. The tether weather. Let's have a look at this. See what's going on. So still in the green over uh, one day in terms of the price. Still in the green over seven days. Let's have a look at market cap. Anybody? Oh, nobody cashing out over the last 24 hours. There's a few people cashing out over the last seven days. Look at that drop in market cap. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Let's have a look. Oh, uh, here we go. So this is a Bitrex, bit of a small screen here, but uh, we can see we've just had a, a dip in the price there, but that's over 20, that's over um, the dip in the price over 24 hour period. So this goes back to uh, July 14th, had a nice little run there. Very good, very good. Let's have a look at uh, Bitcoin versus CoreCoin. Uh, trending sideways, trending sideways, yeah. Looks like BTC has a bit of a tank as well. Uh, let's have a look at Core Core. Uh, oh, oh, this is um, Bitcoin versus USD, yeah. So that's just had a, a little tank in the price there. Let's have a look at Coinbase. So still down 70%. Here we go, do this on the max chart. Yep, so uh, again, just speculators taking advantage of a price dip, but I wouldn't touch that with a barge pole. Same with micro strategy. Let's have a look at this. Oh, yeah, just bobbing along again, just speculators having to go on that. Silverfish. Whoa, look at this. Whoa, 3,964 views. Good grief. That means we're only 36 views away from 4,000. 4,000 views of Silverfish. Loving that. And uh, remember, I've, had, I've time stamped all the various sections of the movie down there so you can uh, work your way through it. It's, it's effectively a timeline. So I hope you enjoy that. Right, here we go. This is the countdown calendar to the Nothing Burger. We're currently on July 25th. That means we've got precisely seven days. And we're going to see what happens. The reason this is significant is because here, CSW said uh, at the end of June, he said uh, very shortly, in fact, within weeks, people are going to start to understand that calling BTC Bitcoin and referring to this technology that is illegally passing itself off as Bitcoin comes at a cost. He said, uh, uh, and later this month, you will understand if you have any money on these systems referring to Coinbase and Kraken, it will end up divided between the creditors. He said, uh, I don't want your money. I want the heads of those in charge, so to speak. But if you have any money or assets on these bucket shops by the end of the month, they will be liable to seizure. He said, legally, you have debt like money in a bank. The digital assets on these exchanges are not yours. Rather, they're an obligation to repay that will not extend through bankruptcy. There we go. Just checking the chat. It's been 40 minutes. Hope you enjoyed it. As ever, be aware. Take care. Stay safe out there and we'll see you in the next one.